Today we're going to take you around this 1997 P-registered Land Rover Defender 90. It's one of the last of the 300 TDI engines and it has had a heck of a lot of money spent on it in the last few years. As you can see it's got a, a soft top conversion there but I'll take you around it step by step and then show you some of the paperwork we've got for it. We've got uh, We've got receipts here for over £16,000 and in total over the last three years more than £20,000 has been spent on it. So as you can see it's got the A-frame at the front with the big wipeout lights, LED upgrades on the side lights. Has also got a, a sump guard here. As, uh, as defenders go, actually, it's it's very, uh, I say, straight down the sides. Obviously, with them being riveted, you always get the, the ripples. But it's had new doors on the side and a new rear door over the last couple of years. And the reason being, when it had the soft top conversion, they put the half doors on. Now, I've taken the top of the door off, so you can essentially see it as it would be if it's a nice summer's day or you're living in a warm climate, you can have all the door tops off, roof off, and it's a really nice airy environment to be in. It's got these, these nice wheels in excellent condition with very good continental tyres on. As you can see under here, it's all been stone chip guarded everywhere, just to preserve it nicely. And new springs struts fitted there also. Black checker plate into the side. This being the 300, it's got the, the flaps here that open up to allow air into the vehicle. And that's the front strip that the hood flips into. On our advert, you'll see this uh, this photo is with the hood on as well, so you can you can see what that looks like. Now this has had uh, new seats put in it and dynamat to all the front area underneath the rubber matting. Now, uh, this is sort of a pure Land Rover, much more stripped out, so you've got no stereo in here. But it has been fitted with some aftermarket heated seats and some expensive diff locks here. Both uh, diffs have been replaced. Some nice alloy bits here too. Seats are in excellent condition, as you can see. Centre cubby box also. I'll just show you around the frame with this, as this is a job that's been very well done on the rear soft top conversion. The previous owner spent £3,800 getting this done. It's got a full mohair hood. So it's a really, uh, a really good job that's been done on it. We've also got the additional twin bench seats in the rear. With seat belts, so you can seat up to six people in here. As you can see, it's got the full rubber matting throughout. And the half door on the back here as well. There's no AS rear step and tow bar with the single electric there. Now, obviously, being a, a mid 1990s vehicle, you are going to see some signs of where it's not uh, it's not perfect and brand new. So just show you down here, you've got tiny little bits on the alloy panels there. Uh, if you've had a Defender before, you'll know that's sort of almost par for the course with them. But this is really not not bad at all. Let's show you under here if I can. We will have some photos of the underneath up on the ramp on the listing as well, so you can you can see that.
There's no side steps fitted to this. I, I think the previous owners tried to keep it sort of quite original, just with some tasteful upgrades. Now, side steps, bigger wheels, any styling, these are all things that we can take care of at an additional cost. So if you are interested in that, just talk to us and we can look at that for you. Nice uh, steering wheel there. Dash is 134,000 miles, 134,706 miles as of today. Now this did previously have a snorkel fitted on it. So we have got the markings for a snorkel. Now ordinarily, we would, uh, we would prepare that and paint it. The reason we haven't done is in case anybody wants to put a snorkel on it again. So we can leave that to your choice. If you wanted to snorkel on, then that's there available to do it. If not, we can always prepare that for you. And the same with the bolt here, which secures the snorkel onto the front wing. Now I'm just gonna take you across to some of the paperwork so you can see what kind of uh, things the money's been spent on. Now, the previous owner very kindly provided me with a spreadsheet list of stuff. It hasn't printed out so well from my emails, but the total that he'd spent was 16,590. And in the year prior to that, the previous owner had written out a letter for him confirming that it was re in 2016 and finished the year after. And at the same time, it had the time and belt and tension replaced before the engine went back in. So there's confirmation of that. I'll just run you through some of these invoices here so you can see it's had a brake master cylinder. There's some extra bits fitted there, which to the tune of £700. MDR motors up in Harrogate. Fitted quite a lot of bits to it. Again, a lot spent on servicing. You see some big invoices here. Now, one down here for just over £2,000. That was predominantly engine and wiring work that was carried out. Here's the large invoice from Protection and Performance Limited for the work on the rear soft top. Even things like the anodized door hinges, 420 pounds, end of the earlier service, all the parts for that. And yet another service with MDR motors there. Uh, along with these ones, I've only picked out the sort of bigger invoices. We've got absolutely stacks of other invoices, old MOTs, etc. All down here, showing the work that's been done just in the last few years. So as you can see, very special vehicle. Perfect for keeping, just bringing out in the nicer months or if you've got a property in a warmer climate, again, wonderful vehicle. These aren't going down in value anytime soon, I wouldn't have thought, and uh, could be a very good investment for the future. Plus give you plenty of enjoyment without any of the electrical trickery that modern vehicles have to go wrong. So have a look on our advert, you'll see a full description and 20 plus photos. Uh, we do take part exchange and finance facilities are available. So please give us a call if you've got an interest in the vehicle.